Um, Sarah's Law then, the um, Sexual Offender Disclosure Scheme, has started in the Thames Valley. How useful is this going to be to you at Thames Valley Police? Well, it's going to give us an increased um, flow of information, but it's also the main thing is about the fact it's going to empower parents to better safeguard their children. How exactly is this going to work? Well, people can make an application on our 08458 505 505 number and then uh, talk to an operator and explain what their inquiry is and then they'll be taken through the process. That, uh, that application will be um, filled out, you'll give your um, details, your family details, in details of the person you want to make an inquiry about and then um, that will be researched and then we'll make an, uh, uh, an appointment for you to come in and speak to an officer where you'll prove your identity and your connection with the children you want to protect. Okay. Obviously, um, the information that you're giving out is only to be given out to people who need to, be, need to know that information, as it were. How are you going to make sure that system's not, not abused? Well, when you make an application, you're taken through the stages and the purpose of proving your identity and your connection with the children. Um, you, you make a declaration to the fact that you'll deal with the information responsibly and you're also warned about the fact that you could commit a criminal offence should that information be used improperly. And, and what will you do to people if you know, people do use that information improperly? I guess they'll be arrested then by the same Well, they possibly could do they, if they commit a criminal offence. OK. Uh, how um, many applications have you had so far? Well, it only started yesterday, as you're aware, and um, I had a look uh, this morning and we had three applications so far. And how many more are you expecting in the coming weeks and months? Well, the pilot scheme showed that... Um, there, um, there wasn't that many applications, and on average, uh, about 12 a month in the other forces. So, with no reason to think that it would be any different in Thames Valley. Okay. Um, how about the, um, the the workload that this is going to generate for for Thames Valley Police? Is there going to be an increased workload? Well, obviously, there's additional work, but it's not work that we we wouldn't do already in protecting children, uh, where or responding to requests for help from members of the public. We, um, I'd say the numbers are already um, will be reasonably low, and uh, our estimate is that we will um, deal with those applications within the normal work resource. In terms of who can find out information about who, I mean, is, is there a limit to you know, the relationship you've got to have with this person to be able to find out information about them? Each, each application will be um, dealt with you know, on its own merit, and so um, if you are I'm just making a general application, and that's the thing, it's not. This is not just about trying to find out about somebody down your street. This is about protecting your children or the children that you look after and um, checking out an individual who may have unsupervised access. So when, when, you, um, when you receive that information, that's the connection that you must think about. OK. And um, how confident are you that this is going to prove successful then in the Thames Valley? Well, again, we can only go by the review um, because obviously it's new for us, but it's proved to be successful in the, uh, in the pilot areas and um, we have no reason to think it wouldn't be in Thames Valley. Dionic Deacon, thank you very much. Thank you.